There's actually only two figures that I'm interested in in this latest vintage collection wave, and that's Cad Bane and Boba Fett. The other ones I just wasn't really after. Uh, however, these guys, I was able to get an Amazon order on Cad Bane, and I actually just stumbled across Boba Fett at a Target. It wasn't even in the in the Star Wars aisle. I was just walking down another aisle, like, leaving, and it was just standing there, and I'm like, oh, okay. I just snatched it and got it. So, yeah, we finally have Tusken Boba Fett after seeing him quite a while ago in Mandalorian Season 2, and we've got Cad Bane. And Cad Bane's pretty cool. Uh, I think his appearance in Boba Fett was pretty cool. I'm someone who's actually a fan of the Book of Boba Fett show. It was not that great, but I feel like too many people just hyper-focus on two things. The fact that Boba Fett was not stoic enough, and that biker gang. I feel like people just hyper-focus on those and say it was garbage, but it wasn't trash. It was pretty fun, just a cool show, but it wasn't anything. It wasn't Andor. It wasn't these latest episodes of Ahsoka. It wasn't Luke showing up at the end of Mando Season 2. It was not that, but it was still pretty fun. So I'm happy to get these guys. Uh, let's take a look at the card backs first. So good old Caddy Bane's card backs, pretty iconic, just him standing in the street. Uh, <laughs> I really do like the look of this uh, this card back. It's a pretty good one. I do like the color red, too. It matches his eyes. Uh, but we can see the rest of the figures on the back here from this wave. Uh, it's a few figures I've owned for over 10 years. It's another figure I've owned for over 10 years. It's a reissue of Yak Face for whatever reason. It's a Mofter Jared that I don't really think I need. And then Boba Fett and Cad Bane. So, pretty weak wave in my opinion. If you're a long-term collector, you don't need Kithaba and Nikto and Woof again. Even though Woof is actually a really cool figure. So, I don't mind him getting a reissue, but it's just too Return of the Jedi heavy. And it's too reissue heavy. So... It, not not the greatest wave, but these two figures are still pretty good. So with this card back out of the way, let's take a look at this Cad Bane, and he is pretty cool. He's not perfect. He does have a couple little issues, but he is a pretty cool Cad Bane. His hat is definitely serving him well because it is obscuring his face quite a bit. But taking that hat off, we can see that that is a very good likeness of live-action Cad Bane from Boba Fett. A lot of people complain, oh, why is his skin so bright? He's old. He's about 40 years older than the last time we've seen him. So I guess Duros, as they age, their skin just gets pale. I, I don't know. That's, that's my idea anyway. But yeah, I, I didn't really mind that. I, I think he looked pretty cool in live action, and I think this figure replicates it pretty well. I do like how the hoses do connect to this backpack. And for the most part, the backpack stays in place as you're articulating the head. But in certain... You know, if you're forcing it a little too much, it will come undone. You can glue that in place if it bugs you enough, but for me, I would rather that come undone than the hose break. So I'm going to leave that out. I'm not going to worry about that. One odd detail, they didn't paint the metal plate on his head. It's sculpted in there, but they didn't really paint the metal plate. So it almost looks invisible. You don't really see that metal plate at all. It is a nice looking head, though. I really do enjoy it. Uh, let's get that hat back on there just so you can kind of see how it looks. I think... I think this is the way it goes. See, I can see that hat does really, <laughs> it's really big. So it does obscure that head quite a bit uh, from the light. But he does look really nice with that hat on. I do think proportionally and everything, it works really well. Uh, so taking a look at the torso, he's got some nice little punches of like metallics in there. He does have that little uh, like life support thing that was dinging at the end. So that's a pretty cool detail. It's got tons of little bullets right there. I love the blue of the arms, the arm gauntlets. That looks really cool. And little details in there. This is a very nicely detailed figure. I love the copper for that wire as well. That's pretty nice. And that wire uh, just connects, connects back to the arm. This wire, though, connects to the upper arm. So as you're posing this, you want to be careful not to, uh, not to break that cord or anything. I do feel like the articulation on this guy is a little more limited than others. But it's not that bad. It's not the end of the world. The main thing for me is the elbows. I'm so used to elbows that bend pretty deep in TVC, and these are a little shy of uh, 90 degrees, which is kind of bad. Kind of bad, but it's not the end of the world. I do feel like his hands are kind of big. <laughs> I don't know, his hands feel a little big to me. Especially in that pose I had at the start where his hands like touching the brim of his hat. It just feels a little big. I don't know. He does have his guns, which are pretty nice. It's actually kind of slick how he just pulled that out. 
Yeah, he's, I mean, he's a Western gunslinger bounty hunter. He's got to have his guns. And those just look like straight-up revolvers. That's kind of funny. The other one is uh, behind the coat, which I think is pretty nice. But yeah, he's got both of them. And that just slips back in right there. I'm really happy that we did get a TVC figure of Cad Bane from Boba Fett. I was kind of worried we wouldn't, because from the show, the main guy really wanted him. Like, I need that Boba Fett. I do still need to get the Tusken Raiders. I, I haven't gotten the tus that Tusken Raider 4-pack yet. I'm still just out here struggling to justify those multi-pack prices. I really am. But uh, the boots look cool. He's just cool looking, man. It's, it's Cad Bane. <laughs> How could he not look cool looking? So his articulation, I already pretty much showed you the head. It's on, like, you know dumbbell joint so you can get that moving around and everything and that hat like it, it is kind of blocking your view of the figure itself but it does look really cool in shadow doesn't it <laughs> it looks really cool with the hat shadowing his head uh his arms you know i already went over the elbows but the shoulders are perfectly fine elbows are a bit of a letdown again be careful moving that you don't want to break that hose uh the hands they're on standard up and down hinges they swivel uh the torso is on a ball joint which is really nice you actually get a lot of back out of that not too much crunch though but you do get a lot of back arc and some tilt side to side ball joints at the hips and he's got swivels at the thighs swivels and bends at the knee and he's got really nice boots the boots move pretty good you know pretty standard but still pretty nice so overall this cad bane is pretty decently articulated could be better could could be better I think I'm putting that hat on the right way. I think so. Forgive me if I'm not. <laughs> it's very similar front to back. The main difference is just like that gap in the front. Because I just looked at the card back and I'm like, oh, maybe this is the more accurate way. But I don't know. Looks fine in both directions. I think this is more accurate, though. I think so. I think so. It's, it's your personal preference. How about that? It's your personal preference. <laughs> so there we go. Here's Cad Bane. It's a pretty nice figure. If you're a, a vintage collection collector, I think this is one you really need. This is the first Cad Bane we have had in three and three quarter inch since the Clone Wars. And it's very nice to have a new, superposable, really nicely detailed Cad Bane. I mean, it's Cad Bane. How can you not love him? <laughs> it's super nice. Alrighty, so there's Cad Bane. Now let's take a look at Boba Fett. His card back's pretty nice. Uh, they did take a scene from the book of Boba Fett. I think it would have been more iconic if it was him from the Mandalorian. Just like, I want my armor. You know, that was that was pretty iconic. But still, nice image. Uh, nice color, too. Kind of matches the whole Tuscan motif. Then around the back, we see the other figures in the wave again. And it's just a pretty standard TVC card back. What number is he? 285! We're getting close to 300. That's insane. I didn't realize we were getting that close. This Boba Fett is pretty nice. It reuses a lot of the body parts from the deluxe Boba Fett that I really enjoyed, uh, as well as the uh, like the the other like Mandalorian repaint armor Fett. I'm happy we got this guy single carded because he came with the Slave One, and I really didn't need that Slave One. I didn't want to spend 200 bucks on a Slave One when I can. I actually don't have a Boba Fett Slave One yet, but I can I can get the original TVC version cheaper. You know, I don't, I'm like, I don't want to get this just for this Boba. I'm hoping they issue it separately. And thankfully they did. Thankfully they did. Uh, he does have a lot of soft goods. He is one of those figures that is covered in it. So if you're not a fan of a lot of soft goods, you might want to either just take them off or just avoid this figure entirely. But I do think they benefit the look. I mean, it's a Tuscan Raider Boba Fett. I do like the black Tuscan look. I like how his tribe had a different color scheme. It's pretty nice. Even though... For being in the desert, black doesn't make much sense for a color. But anyways, it's it's a Star Wars show where they you know fight four armed monsters in the desert. I'm not I'm not here to argue <laughs> argue actual science because that's not the point. Uh, he does come with his gaffy stick. It's nice to actually have Boba Fett's gaffy stick. I'm sure the deluxe Boba they released for Book of Boba Fett will look really nice with that. But it is cool that he comes with a gaffy stick. He also does come with a Tuscan Cycler rifle. And this has tons of detail on it. Getting this kind of off. I'm not going to have him hold it. I like it on the on the side right there. But you can see a lot of little detail in there. A lot of little golds and some gun metals. I do appreciate all the paint they put into these accessories nowadays. I really do. Uh, he does also have this, uh, I think it's like elastic. It's like a, an elastic string that's actually tied on to the uh, gaffy stick. So I'm sure you could like take that off if you want and like retie it, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let's take the cycler rifle off, and this can you know it can go on his back. It's it's a gaffy stick. You can just put it over him or whatever. 
Uh, but one thing I definitely want to do, I'm going to get all those off so we can kind of get a closer look at the figure itself. Uh, he does still have his pistol, which is nice. He's got the little pistol in there. That looks pretty cool. But uh, you can see he's got a lot more detail underneath this cloth. And the cloth is, again, nice. It makes sense for the character, but it can be removed, thankfully, if you don't want him covered in cloth. I don't remember in the show if he actually didn't have these big robes on. And if he went around lighter, I genuinely don't remember. Uh, but still, you can remove it and getting all this off and get a better look at the figure itself. And there is a part of me that's tempted to display him like this. Because I do like that cloth, but I actually like this look a lot more too. It's just, you know, it's a bit more movable. You can do a little bit more with it. It's kind of funny. He has a similar like shoulder pad deal as the, uh, the proper armored Boba Fett's do. <laughs> Where it's like a shoulder pad that moves up. Uh, but you can see he's got some pretty nice articulation underneath. Uh, interestingly, I think it's like little pieces of fabric or plastic coming off on me. Uh, he does have hinges up and down. He's got that really nice ball joint still retained from the Deluxe Boba Fett. Uh, same really nice head sculpt as well. That is Tamor Morrison right there, without a doubt. That's really nice. Uh, his legs are the same ball jointed legs. He does have the same really stupid big knee joint. <laughs> he does have that. So keep that in mind, that since the joints are so big, they're a little bit more difficult to move. But he's still got it. He's got the ankles. He's got the motion, man. He's he's a nice Boba Fett. You can get him in a lot of nice poses. But just keep in mind that cloth is going to kind of kind of get in your way, just because it's a lot of cloth. And action figures, I think, are best with minimal cloth. But I do think this guy would have been hurt if they went with like a rigid, like sculpted cloak. And especially in three and three quarter inch, I think the, I think the cloth works okay. One thing I wish he did a little bit better though was have the hood, because he does have the hood, but because it's a three and three quarter inch figure, they've never really mastered the hoods, so it's still not really knitted in a way where it looks really good on him. I mean, if you move it down enough, you know, it will go over his head. It does function as a hood, but it's just a little too big. It, it looks kind of goofy. <laughs> to be realistic, it needs to be like closer and, you know, look more like that or something. But it's just a little poofy. But it's okay. I've seen some people, they put like some double-sided tape on the top of a figure's head. Then like tape the hood how they want it. You know, it's, it's a way to do it. But for me, I'm just going to have it back. Ooh, that's a piece of thread I need to get off. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually surprised there's not more like tattering to this. Since it's supposed to be, you know, desert-worn... Tuscan Boba Fett, but it still looks really nice. I really do like this. If you're a fan of, you know, even if you're not a fan of Book of Boba Fett, this is still a figure from the Mandalorian, you know? <laughs> if you're a Mandalorian fan, I would actually suggest this as well. But for me, I'm I'm a big Book of Boba Fett fan. I'm a fan of Boba Fett as a character. I'm really happy I got this. I do need to get those Tuscan tribe members. I do. Because I actually want to make a diorama of like Boba being initiated and like dancing around the fire and all that. I think that'd look really cool. But overall, nice figure. Definitely do recommend it. I actually do have the Tuscan Warrior, like the deluxe set. I haven't opened that yet. But I don't have the tribe, like the three members and then the, the leader. I don't have that yet. But overall, there we go. There is our new Book of Boba Fett TVC figures. We got Cad Bane and we got Boba Fett. I like them. I recommend them. Cad Bane especially. Cad Bane's really cool. He does have a few little drawbacks, you know, especially with his elbow articulation. But overall, he's really cool. He's really nice looking. And Boba Fett's also, it's Boba Fett. You know, just, it's Boba Fett. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Let me know what you think about these guys down in the comments below. Me, personally, I, I really like these. Getting TVC figures like this definitely does remind me that I really do enjoy collecting these. And even though I don't have the budget for them like I used to, I still definitely want to pick up the ones that I really, really want. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Thanks so much for watching. Again, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Special shout-out to channel members, as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.